Hi, I'm David Shore. I created House. And I'm Hugh Laurie, and I play House. And we're here to answer your questions. David, Rita would like to know how far ahead you plan your stories, at what point you make changes. We, we sort of get together, the writer's room get together uh, a couple times a year, two, maybe three times a year and map out the stories as we're going ahead. In terms of the big picture of the stories and the basic medicine of the stories, we sort of map out at that point in time. If we've got a story we're excited about, usually we stay excited about it. Uh, and then we see where that goes and then before we're done with that, hopefully we start working on the next one. So at the beginning of the year, I'm fairly well ahead. <laughs> Halfway through the year, right. not so far ahead. Right. And they, I get, they, they, they catch up to me in a hurry. You know? It's like that Spielberg, it was that film Duel, where the trucks sort of chasing you and getting closer and closer. It must, it, I, I say that, it must feel like that, that you're being, you're being run down by this gigantic, well, by a, Except by without a, the threat of death. Um, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. It's nothing like that Spielberg film. Emily wants to know, do Hugh Laurie and Gregory House share any traits? You know, I, I do incline towards the rational and the empirical. I'm not one for sucking on willow bark and, and crystals, although I do have an acupuncture pain in my ear right now. But it's a long story, <laughs> which I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> uh, but it is in there. It's in there just to test airport security machines. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. If I now have an acupuncture... Well, yeah, no, I have to rethink... Yeah. ...the last seven years. Um, no, very smart man, very funny man, very, very witty. And the pleasure to work with, very rational, just very intellectual. Um, I do have to, uh, uh, turning back to me for a moment. I, uh, the, oh, I thought we were talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, I, every now and again when I do say something on tour. work or socially? Socially. I, I will insult somebody and they'll go, oh, that's Dr. House. But eight years ago, if I did that, I just alienated a couple, you know. Right, that's funny because I've never actually tried that. I, I sometimes think of it, and I, then I see in people's faces that they're half expecting it. And when I say, you know, when I hold the door open, I'll go, thank you very much, that was a lovely slice of cake. They look a little bit disappointed, you know. <laughs> they wanted some scathing comment about the cake. Yeah. And for me to say that was nice cake is, well, that's not much of a story, is it? I've got nothing to tell now. Sean would like to know how many seasons there are left left. Uh, it sounds like we're, we're, we've got a couple rattling in the tin, uh, I, but how many uh, is the future? I, I, I honestly don't know. I planned it as an opportunity to explore this character, and as long as there's things to explore and there's things of interest there, we will continue to explore the character. Thank you for watching Fans Ask House. And remember to watch House on Fox, Mondays at 8.